Good morning, everyone. Today is the 16th of October. It's Wednesday morning. Mark is going to read Matthew 21 for today. Um, this is where Christ tells them to go find a colt. And uh, he told them they would find it. And this is a fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecy of Christ riding in Jerusalem on the fowl of an ass. And that's where, this is where the great multitudes spread their garments and said, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And said all the city was moved. And the multitude said, This is Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And this is also where Christ went in the temple and cast out the money changers. Saying, my houses shall be called a house of prayer, but you made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came and he healed them. And when the chief priests and scribes saw these wonderful things he did, they were very upset. And Christ said, Have you not read out of the mouths of babes and suckling thou hast perfected praise? Another Old Testament prophecy. And then he also, this is the rendition of him cursing a fig tree. And the Pharisees came to him again and tried to trick him on asking him, by what authority they, he did these things. And he asked him, by what authority did John the Baptist, was it John the Baptist, was it from heaven or of men? And they wouldn't answer him, so he said, I will not tell you then. And anyway, um, he said, told them, the religious leaders, that... Um, the publics and harlots go in the kingdom of God before you. And so anyway, uh, this is quite a rendition of Christ and his rebuking of the religious leaders of the day. I'll turn this over to Mark and, and have him read it. It's a total of 46 verses in this chapter. Matthew chapter 21. When they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and come to Bethphage and the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway you shall find an ass tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. If any man say not unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done, that it might be fulfilled, was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, me conceiving upon an ass, and a colt, the fowl, an ass. Disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt and put on them their clothes, and they set them thereon. A very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees, strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna is the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna is in the highest. When he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? The multitude said, This is Jesus a prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. She went to the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought the temple, overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made a den of thieves. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. 
one of the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that God he did and the children cry in the temple and saying, Hosanna, Christ the son of David, they were sore displeased and said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus said unto them, Yea, yes, have ye never read? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise. And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany, and he lodged there. Now in the morning as he returned to the city, he hungered. When he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. Presently the fig tree withered away. When the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? She answered and said to them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which has come to the fig tree, but also if, if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast in the sea, it shall be done. All things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. He was coming to the temple, the chief priest and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching, and said, By what authority doest thou these things, and who gave thee this authority? Jesus answered and said to them, I will also ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he shall say unto us, what, Why then Why then should you believe him? But if ye shall say of men, We feared the people, for all hold John as a prophet. They answered Jesus and said, We cannot tell. And he said to them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye, a certain man had two sons, and came to the first, and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward he repented and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise, he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, The first Jesus saith unto them, Verily, 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 I say unto you, that the public and the heartless go in the kingdom of God. Before you, for John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and you believe him not. The publicans and the harlots believed him, and you, when you had seen it, repented not afterward that you might believe him. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about, and digged a wine press in it and built a tower, and let out the husbandmen and went to a far country. The time the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants and beat one and killed another and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all, he sent them his son, saying, They received my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, It's the heir. Come, let us kill him and let us seize on his inheritance. They caught him and cast him on the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord, therefore, the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will measure and destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall enter, enter into the fruits in their seasons. Jesus saith unto them, Did he never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Whosoever fall on the stone shall not be broken, but on whosoever it fall, not only broken, shall we grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard his parables, they perceived they spake of them. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. Okay, thank you, Mark. Well, I hope you all have a good day today.